Well, it's Surf Church Sunday. The girls just left for Ballhead. Chris will be down there till Friday, and Annie will stay there till they decide to go back to New York. So I'm batching for several days, me and the boys, and the, and the man do, and the cats. I missed the tide by about an hour. I had to wait for them to help them get packed up and everything. So when I get there, the tide's gonna be coming in. But it makes no difference, I don't think. I'm probably gonna work out in the deep water anyway. We'll see how it goes. Surf Church Sunday. You can see it's coming in over the bar. But the slew is still there. I'm going to go west today against my better judgment. I'm going that way. I'm going to work right along this upper edge right here. Well, the first star is a rusty Corona. Got to start someplace. Target number two is a jumpy. 17, 18, 19, or 20. Could be another cap. The other cap came in at 14. This is a piece of aluminum. Look, a baby, baby bull ray. You see him? <laughs> that boy is moving on. Slough gets deeper right up here, you see? I'm only just a blow my knee now. It dropped, it's gonna get real deep here in a minute. It's getting a little narrow too, but that's good. And it looks like there's a lot more depositors up that way. I haven't been... I haven't been, let's see, where are we? I haven't been west of here yet in a long time. But it looks interesting, for sure. It's just a lot of area to cover. Scratchy 15. I see it. I think it's another aluminum. Burn beer can. A lot of iron around. I got a 9 and a 10 here. Pretty solid. Huh, I don't know what it is though. Look at that knob. Knob or something. Now maybe we can find something. That's the uh, gargoyle house right there. That's at the end of the street I live on, the cul-de-sac. Well, between that end of the cul-de-sac there's another house right there. And somebody's building a big, brand new, big monster right there. I haven't been down this way to see that lately. That's going to be a, woo. look at the size of that baby. Big depository. I did dig two pull tabs, one old, one regular pull tab and a pull tab ring, about three quarters of it, some of it was missing. But there ain't been many targitos. Right along here is where I found the Lady D ring. Remember that nice diamond sapphire ring I found Easter Sunday with the brand new Knock 800. $1,500 I got for that ring. Right along in here. God, I couldn't believe it. That's a, one of the nicest rings I ever found. For you new people, I'll put a picture in here if I can remember what it looked like right here. Lady D. All this has been replenished. 
That's why I don't come down this way much. But we got a nice slough, so maybe something's been deposited fresh drop wise, you know. When I go back, I'm going back out there on the outside of the bar. You can see the slough narrows right up here. I'm going to hunt that little narrow spot right up there in front of that red kayak. And I'm going to go offshore and go back. No targets at all. Here we got a scratchy 23. Twenty three. They finally got it. Looks like a vape pipe. Well, we're coming to the end. It's getting narrow about a minute. If I went any further from the way it looks, I'd have to take at least two nitros. Maybe more if I went further to the west. Yeah, at least two. Okay, we're off on the edge now. About pecker deep. Just under the screen away. First target's a 16. But it's really scratchy. I don't know what this is, but it's deep. like a little piece of copper. My first target is a deep. Twelve. First scoopo. Nope. Whatever it is, it fell through the first time. Might be a bucktail head or something, you know? Sure sounds good, I know that. Never know what 12 was. 
Well, I'm gonna go come up here where the gargoyle house is. And I'm gonna get back in the slough and I'm gonna hunt the outer edge of the deep part of the slough. Where I kind of went down the middle of the upper edge, I'm going down that deep side. As soon as it drops off right here. There's nothing out here. Okay, here we go. Well, it don't seem to be any better here on the back back side. We're going to move up here to the upper side. There's mermaid right there, a nice mermaid. And another mermaid inbound. Maybe not inbound. Maybe visiting the other mermaid. Huh, why? I should have walked slower. Okay. We're gonna hunt right up here on the break. Right along in here. See what that'll get us. Well, I dug a, a bottle opener and two Coronas up here. That was more I was getting out of there. Stand by. Well, the depositors are out now in force. The targets have picked up, but they're all in the form of bottle caps. Smeared off, RS, more Coronas. Oh me. I think I'm going to go to that beach ramp right there and turn around and go back in the deep edge again, going back. Well, I think we got a half of a tow ring. There's a good half. <laughs> and the back half is missing. Here's a roundup, capsule, vapor, bottle opener, teeny tiny rivet or a snap holder or something, two uh, fine pull tabs, aluminum, and a half a toe ring. See you tomorrow. I think uh, Danny got some kind of bling ring at Nada, and Tony Detective Central got a tungsten on a 10K with some big ice in it. But I'm not going to Nada. I might go, like I said, July 15th or mid July. Then I'm going back, start back down there. I don't care if they find 10 rings a day. I just ain't going down there. Listen to all them screaming people and kids and boogie boards. Let them get deposited a little better. Okay.